Hey, what's going on guys? Kyle here today. In today's video, we have a very special review. Here we have MSI's Ages X. This is a pre-built desktop gaming PC, which you can definitely say has that unique design about it, but also aims to deliver at that performance level. But unfortunately, it will set you back around a whopping £2,000 here in the UK. That's according to MSI. You'll be able to buy this on PC World and Very, and later on at Amazon. For the prices around the world, what MSI I haven't actually told me. So the question is, what do you get for the cost of the Aegis X? Well, first of all, you're going to get a small, compact, form factor, custom pre-built gaming PC, which you've been totally designed by MSI themselves. The case itself looks like a cyborg's head, mixed with MSI's gaming design, which is definitely a one-off in my book. The side panel themselves features some very sharp lines, and that left side panel allows you to see through it, exposing that side-mounted vertical MSI GTX 1080 graphics card, which it also doubles up as the air intake for it as well. Coming around to the front of the Aegis case, it features MSI's Mystic Lighting, which you can take fully control of using MSI's gaming app, which you can take full advantage of then and change to whichever color you personally desire, as well as change from the ranges of different modes. You can turn the Mystic Lights completely off and back on. With the static mode enabled here, you can actually change from them different ranges of colors. The gradient mode randomly cycles through the different ranges of colors, and with the audio mode enabled, it simply changes to the beat of the music, and last so you can pick breathing mode which is standard on most RGBs. The front I.O. consists of a power on button, a microphone in jack and a headset out jack. Also has a USB 3.1 generation 2 type C port with two USB 3.1 generation 1 type A ports with the top one having the quick charger technology. At the bottom we have a HDMI out port ready for your VR devices and at the top we have an optional disk drive which simply opens by pressing the button and shutting with your hand. One neat feature though MSI has included is the overclock Genie 4 button built right into the MSI badge. You simply press it and the MSI Gamer app will appear on the screen, putting the system into overclock mode with a constant overclock to your CPU. Pressing the button again will put it back into the gaming mode, but then now you can change the silent mode to reduce that performance if you want to, which in my books is a very cool feature to have. Looking around the back of the rear I.O., it consists of one PS2 port, two USB 2.0 ports, six USB 3.1 generation 1 type A ports, a single HDMI out port, a single Ethernet port for Ethernet connection, of course your audio jacks. It also includes two antennas for the killer's wireless AC1435 for that wireless gaming which includes the Bluetooth technology. At the bottom of the case, in the stand itself, is the 600 watt 80 plus silver certified PSU which is completely isolated away from the rest of the system with its own cooling to prevent further heat in the case. Also to note, just above this is the actual exhaust for the case itself blowing down. Now moving on to specification of the Asus X, MSI has certainly delivered here. The Asus X uses an Intel Core i7 6700K CPU running at 4GHz on a custom Z170 motherboard with 16GB of DDR4 RAM with speeds of 2100MHz. It also features a NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card which is of course a non found edition by MSI, the Armor 1080, which has 8GB of GDR5X memory. Also for storage it uses two M.2 SSDs in a RAID configuration with an additional 2TB Seagate HHD drive. It also has Killers Double Shot Pro NIC which also features AC1435 for that wireless gaming and again all this is powered by a 600W 80 plus silver PSU. So one neat thing MSI has done with the Aegis X is make it so you can swap out and upgrade the components very easy if you wish to in the future. To gain access inside, you simply remove the four screws at the back of the case, which then allows you to remove the top panel, which simply just pops off. Then you're able to slide the left and the right side panels completely off. The inside of the case holds around 19.6 litres, and MSI has put a lot of hardware in here in such a tiny space. So on the one side, you can see we have that vertical mounted GTX 10E Arm Edition by MSI. This is removed by removing the bracket at the back of the graphics card, which allows you then to gain access to the other components inside. You can see here that MSI are using a PC Express adapter to convert that GTX 1080 to mount vertical. 
for the CPU cooler, the Aegis is using an all-in-one liquid cooler which has a 90mm radiator in a single fan configuration. The motherboard itself, as I've previously said, is a custom Z170 motherboard and you can see that the DDR4 RAM on the inside is mounted as it should be. But the second RAM module is actually mounted at the back of the motherboard and the same thing goes for that second M.2 SSD, which personally I haven't seen before and quite unique by itself. Also you can see that it has that killer chip here as well. At the top of the case it has space for additional SSD drive if you wish to fit one and also by removing the CD drive it allows you to gain access to the HHD storage drive in one already been taken up by that 2TB Seagate drive but also leaves you a second one to add later on down the line. Now a quick look at the performance, after all this is a gaming PC and I have to say it was a pleasure to use the Aegis X, it simply just worked without any hassles at all. Every game I played it simply maxed out and for 1080p gaming this machine was well simply overkill with that GTX 1080 and a 6700k CPU together inside the Aegis X it can just max every game out with crazy good FPS at 1080p. For 1440p which is my, is my preferred resolution to play at, the Aegis did an awesome job as well maxing every game out for example playing battlefield 1 alpha test on 1440p with ultra settings an average fps was around 90 to 100 depending what's going on in the game on gta 5 again playing at 1440p on ultra settings the around an average of 90 fps so overall msi has delivered for what the age is built for and that is gaming performance so that's pretty much wraps up the review of the ages x if you wish to know more feel free to ask away and drop a comment down below below. I'll also leave some links in the description for you guys to check out. If you enjoyed this video then please drop a thumbs up. After all these videos do take a long time to make. Thanks for watching as always guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.